some people right quick. <laughs> Trying to invite all the four twenties and those that are just doing what they doing. want to get on here right quick man it's saturday man april 20th also known as 420 <clears throat> i'm down here in san antonio texas uh i just wanted to say right quick man hope everybody's enjoying their weekend some people got friday off for good friday you know what i mean uh yeah, man, it is what it is. Hope everybody's weather is acting right where you at. You know what I mean? Hope everybody's uh, able to uh, be sucker free up in here. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I titled this one right here. I titled, titled it 12 <clears throat> on 20 counts of sexual assault on a dog. And I also uh, named this 420 question mark, my last question mark. So uh, just right quick, man. Um, so I was looking at a, um, a report, man, where there's a uh, there's an officer of the law who is getting ready to be put on 20 counts of animal uh, basically sexual cruelty, 20 counts, 20 counts. Now, <clears throat> it's one thing just to be a random person that's like having sex with animals. It's, it's, it's one thing to do that. And, and I'm not condoning none of that behavior at all. But it's one thing to be a police officer and you getting ready to go on trial for 20 counts of sexual assault on a animal so apparently this 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 police officer man was um having sex with his canine dog and this dude was getting ready had 20 counts 20 counts of animal sexual assault like now i'm not gonna get too deep on it you know what i'm saying let me, let me wave that everybody right quick appreciate that i'm not gonna go too deep man <clears throat> but i'll just say that if you do any type of real history you understand that you know this type of behavior is something that is um not uncommon uh in in different different ethnicities <clears throat> you have a lot of people who um you know sexually have problems and they love having sex with animals it's called bestiality now <clears throat> what what was 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 crazy with the story is that how do you get to the point where you're lightweight? Well, I ain't gonna say lightweight, but you are violating an animal. And then on top of that, that's like your coworker, man. That dog is your coworker. How are you, like? 20 counts man like i i, I don't even know what <laughs> what kind of <clears throat> what kind of thing can you what, what kind of charges can you be, be brought up on and it's 20 
counts of annual of uh, sexual assault on an animal. I know, right, cuzzo? It's crazy. Hey, what up, Summer? Hey. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. It's a lot going on out here. You know what I mean? Uh, people still kind of um, feeling that effects of Nipsey Hustle. You know, one thing I will say is that when something like that happens, because that, that Nipsey's death was felt around this globe, you understand? Uh, when something like that is done, you know what I mean, <clears throat> it gets everybody to talk, and that's what that's what it did. I mean, everybody was talking, especially on the social media. Those that normally don't say nothing, they were talking a lot, and um, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. And, uh, you know, I just seen a video just a few minutes ago, man, of some police officers, like, uh, beating up on some kids like uh man like it, i mean they were beating up on some teenagers you understand what i'm saying um i don't and it was a lot of teenagers like it was a lot of youngins around i mean people man black people man yo we 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 gotta we gotta start protecting our kids and our women you know, you talk to a lot of black people, man. Black people will tell you, man, that black men ain't there because black men have been taking out the, the picture. And that's true. But there's 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 still some, there's still many of us that are out here that can do something about it. Now, I don't know who, you know, who these men are, man. I hope that, you know what I'm saying, because <clears throat> as things keep happening out here, <clears throat> it's going to force people to wake up. It's going to force people to try to do something about it. So I hope that, you know what I mean? Like in every city, man, there's like, it needs to be like a, like a, like a, like a panel, man, like a council. It needs to be those that are like from different sections and different areas of the community, man. It needs to be something like that just on a, on a real grassroots independent scale. I don't know I'm I'm going off on some other shit, but right now, man, this is where this is where the, the, the vibration is moving me. But it has to be it has to be more 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 going on with black men and doing something with these kids, man. Even if you black man, look, it look. Adopt a kid, yo. Adopt look, man, these kids just like I seen an article, uh, something about um the actress um uh what's her name's like Sharon 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 something it was uh what's I forget what movie she's in man but she adopted um a black kid and I believe this kid may be from Africa well she's gotten it to the uh Sharon Theron Theron Sharon Theron something like that but she's at the point now where she didn't she didn't made her little boy into a little girl. She didn't got this little black boy out here in dresses and little skirts and stuff. And the kid is maybe like four or five now. This is a problem, man. This is a problem. This is a problem. Like they really, they really trying to, they really trying to get straight black men out of there, man. They trying to get us extinct. They trying to get us, you know what I'm saying, all the way out of there, man. And, uh. You know, just right quick, I labeled this also uh, my last 420 question mark. Yeah, man, I'm thinking about trying to relax off the trees, man. I don't care if this shit public or not. I probably should care, but hey, man, you know, come find me, nigga. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying? It's just to the point where, you know what I mean? I'm doing a lot of research on this marijuana, man, and. It's like, you know, yeah, they coming up with these strands and they coming up with these these people that are making profits. But let's be honest, man, those that have smoked marijuana, <clears throat> you, you know what kind of marijuana is real marijuana. And if you don't, then you're the one that they're making money off of. You understand what I'm saying? 
Look, man, they 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 letting out this fake ass weed, man. They letting out this fake ass loud, and niggas and smoking it, man. And I'm gonna tell you, man, like some of these people are like selling like damn near oregano. Like it's ridiculous, man. And it's to the point where you know what I mean. It's like I I, I don't even like some of the stuff. Don't even like it. Don't even do it. Don't even do the same. It don't do what it's supposed to do. You understand what I'm saying? And it either does what it's supposed to do, or it does too much where you're not functionable. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, being a comic, I can't. I used to be able to do a lot. I used to be able to blow something, drink something, go on stage and be swayzy out there. But now I can't even like this loud, this quote unquote loud. Yo, I can't, I don't know if I can do the loud no more, man. I think I'll do some, I'll be on some loud and I'll be talking like Pootie Tang. Nigga, I can't even talk, man. I can't tell no jokes. I'll be up on stage like, uh, Rada Sada Da Da Da. Nigga, I'll be, I'll be out of here. So I've had to like relax on that, but I'm like to the point where I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking about relaxing off of all this shit, man. Like it gets to a point where you know what I mean, especially if you are, if you are um, older, wiser, mature person. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 get to the point where you know what I mean, like especially if you've been smoking or you've been drinking, you've been doing something for a very long time. It gets to the point where you may need to take a break. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, whoa, it's like you gotta watch it, man. You just gotta watch it. You know what I mean? Now I don't I don't know about these reports they be putting on Facebook. You gotta watch this shit. Where they talk about uh it was like three people they said three people died from smoking weed that was rat poisoning in it or some shit. Like I don't look, man. I don't know what I don't know if you ain't got somebody that is just somebody you know that got it. Don't do the random shit. Type like, nigga, don't do the random shit. I guess I'm just talking and giving away some of these things, man, just because uh, I may be done, man. I may be done with this shit. But, uh, yeah, man, let me wait. Let me, let me, let me holler at y'all. Some of y'all appreciate me checking in, man. I ain't been on here in a minute. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you, man, <laughs> you got to watch it out here. You got to watch it. You have to watch it out here, man. You know what I mean? And like down here in Texas, I mean, you know, niggas be having that fake loud, son. Niggas be having that fake loud. Now, like if you if you or someone that partakes in the regular Reggie, whatever, and you have like, you know, been on loud. It's kind of hard, man. Like, you almost have to, like, wink yourself off of it for a few days or something or for a minute just so you can be able to mess with the Reggie and get something from it. Because, I mean, if, if you've been blowing loud for a long time, Reggie's going to do nothing for you. You're just going to be like, hey, man, is this oregano? Hey, man, is this some spices? What the fuck is this? Let's switch it. So hold on, man. What is what is fentanyl? Fentanyl. What is that? What is that? What is fentanyl? What is fentanyl? I, I don't. He's, he's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. For real. Yes. And these people. And then, but the crazy part is that you'll have niggas out here that will. Uh, be quote unquote the guy to get it from and then they be like yeah I, I put something in the air with it I I, I <clears throat> rolled something out of the bag and it blows good and blah 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 like if that's the truth man <clears throat> then let it be the truth but nigga if you lying cut them niggas off man don't deal with these don't deal with these niggas man cause a lot of these niggas be on some bullshit and a lot of people think that, you know what I mean, you may not really know what it what what what, what the logistics is of you know, purchasing and buying uh loud or reggie or whatever you partake in. 
it's supposed to be ethics and copes, this shit. You understand what I'm saying? But you get niggas out here talking about they sleep. You like, nigga, you sleep. So, like, nigga, you ain't trying to come get this money right now. You sleep. Like, niggas got hours. Niggas got, niggas got schedules out here now. You know, weed men, weed men have schedules, man. I got some hair. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I I thought it was something like that. I mean, if you that's what I'm saying. Like now, you don't know you don't know what to trust, man. You don't know what to trust with 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 marijuana, man. You don't. You don't. You don't know who is on what kind of bullshit. You don't know. If you, if, I mean, shit. That's what I'm saying. Rat poisoning, fitting on. You know what I'm saying? I. Yeah, man, it's 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 to that point, you know what I mean, where you don't know, you don't know what 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 they, you know, you just don't know, man, you just don't know, you just don't know, you know what I'm saying? You just don't know, man. You understand what I'm saying? So it's real in the field. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I think this this I don't know. This may be it for me, guys. I, I don't. I'm not really a drinker either. I don't really drink, you know, I haven't really drunk a lot since, like, college days, and that was a while ago, so I don't really do, I don't really do, I don't get drunk like that, I don't, at least I try not to, and another reason why is because I don't, I don't like not feeling that as if I'm in control, like, if I drink too much alcohol, man, like, that's, that's, nah, man, you know what I mean, I, I be on some bullshit, I ain't gonna lie, I be on some bullshit when I'm drunk. You know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't be out in public type shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, I think this may be it with me on the Mary Jane, man. This may be it, yo. I think I may be done, man. It's just time to, you know, maybe kind of just, you know, detox a little bit, man. Relax. Something, man. And it's very hard to try to get loud out here, man. It's very long. It's very hard, man. And, and some people are like, well, nah, so and so got it, and so and so got it. Like I said, man, a lot of this shit I don't trust out here, man. A lot, like I said, a lot. Some of these niggas be having fake loud out here, man. Fake. You understand what I'm saying? Fake. Fake. Like fake. And I'm not gonna say all that's coming from Colorado, <clears throat> but still, man. You can't be throwing out terms and names and especially like sour diesel. You can't say, hey, I got some sour diesel. And then you get it and you be like, nigga, this ain't no sour diesel, nigga. <laughs> nigga, this is oregano, nigga. <laughs> you didn't send me some, you didn't sold me some spices to smoke, nigga. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't do it, man. This shit just getting sketchy out here, B. Just getting sketchy, no bitch out here, man. Oh, man. <sighs> so, yeah, man. I mean, I think that's all I'm going to do right now, man. <clears throat> so, yeah, man. You know, I appreciate everybody that checked your boy out. Um, You know what I mean? Hit me up, uh, comedianjscott.com. Yes, a nigga got a dot com. Um. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button on this share. You know what I mean? Uh, keep doing your thing. Be cautious out here. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, just pay attention, man, because they, they they starting to do some shit like on all levels right now. You know what I mean? And they know what black people like. They know what we like. They know what we like to do. You understand what I'm saying? So don't think that they ain't out here trying to do something to that shit. Yeah, like the K2. All oh, the K2 was, was horrible. You know, the K2 came in. The K2 was like the 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 crack of marijuana because it's not real marijuana. Nigga, it is it is uh incense incense. It's shit that you light to smell good in your house, nigga. You ain't supposed to smoke it. See the thing is, man, motherfuckers is so dumb. They be they be putting that shit. It, it looks like it looked like it could be marijuana because it's green. But that is about the end of it. If you someone who smoked K two, man, <clears throat> you was you not you not. That's not a smart move. 
It's not a smart move. If you're smoking K2, I need you to watch this video and stop immediately. If you know anybody that, that still smoke K2, I don't even know if they sell that shit out here in Texas, man. I'm be honest with you. I don't think they sell that shit in Texas, man. Not in like, you know, they got like smoke stores, smoke shops that, you know what I mean? But I, I know the niggas ain't carrying no K2, man. You may have to get that from the uh from the uh Arabs in, at the corner store, man. Now they probably got the K2. You know what I mean? They probably got the K2, they probably got the spice, they probably got all that shit over there. <clears throat> but be careful out here, people. Be careful, man. Let me see. Appreciate that right there. <clears throat> Pay attention out here, man. Keep trying to smarten up, man. A lot of this stuff out here. It's just getting weirder and weirder, man. Shit's getting sketchier and sketchier, man. The people, the people out here getting sketchy. People that might be your friends getting sketchy. Y'all just pay attention, man. Pay attention, man. Start linking up with those that are on that same wavelength as you, man. Because that's that's all that's that's what we about to have here in a minute. Everything else is gonna have to be like strategizes for who play what position. Because I'm telling you, man. Black people gotta do something. Man. We are playing. We are playing. Like, you know what I mean? Like that gang troops that's going on in the Cali right now. I hope I hope they hope they come and open up some more businesses out there. Buy more real estate out there. That's what we all need to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, uh, man, I was in Indianapolis. I was in Indianapolis in, uh, I was, I don't know, man. I was, I was dealing with a female and we go to the gas station. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, she's like, you know, has some swishers or whatever. I'm like, all right, whatever. Which I, I don't like, I don't fuck with swishers, man. Leave. I'm telling you, man, leave. If you're going to partake in anything, make sure you use like hemp papers. Real hemp papers. Real hemp. It, whatever you use a roll up in, it should, when you buy it, it should have no type of warning on it. That's how you know you buying the wrong shit. Is if they got a warning on it, nigga. If it's warning you, you should not be using that. You shouldn't be using that. I don't care if it's a tropical berry fruit roll up swisher sweet. Nigga, leave that shit alone. Leave that shit alone. Leave that shit alone. It was it's different, man. Like if you were someone who kind of you know part partake in marijuana, especially you know in the two thousands, late nineties, two thousands into the two, I say all the way up to about two thousand and five. If you partake in, in that era, man, you was like you know you you was you was <laughs> you was probably dealing with the real like the real McCoy, man. But like this shit right now, nah, man. This, this out here right now, man. This is crazy out here. So that's why I think I'm about to go ahead and relax off of it, man. I may get off the crib, man. I may leave it alone, yo, for a minute, man. But yeah, man, I'm about to get up out of here, man. I appreciate everybody that uh that you know what I mean checked in with your boy. You know what I mean? Like I said, check me out, comedianjscott.com. Comedianjscott.com. Also, I got some some episodes of a podcast that I did um on Spotify. You know what I mean? Just go to Spotify, type in Comedian J. Scott. And then uh, it's Comedian J. Scott going crazy. You know what I mean? I have about, you know, maybe like five episodes, something like that on there. But, um, you know, just holler at your boy. Check me out. You know what I mean? I'm out, man. Appreciate everybody showing me love. Hit the like button. Share this shit. You know what I mean? Peace. Yeah, what up, dude?